welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Zoe. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how are you guys doing at home? You staying busy? You getting lots done? Yeah, me neither. I've been at home now off work for over six weeks and I expected to spend all this time, you know, being creative, making good content, uh, cleaning my house. But uh, honestly, I've spent most of this time on the couch. Now I know I'm not alone in this, we all have added stress and anxiety right now. And I find that that, coupled with lack of schedule, has kind of chased off all my motivation. Uh, but I'm determined to find it, it's something to work on. And in the meantime, I'll be doing some beauty experiments. We have a unique opportunity here to fail terribly at things without anyone ever knowing. So let's try some stuff. So today I thought we would try some alternative ways to use self-tanning products to add some color to my face. Now, I haven't been wearing makeup lately and my skin is responding pretty well. This is, this is a good skin day for me. For me, but I find when I don't wear makeup, people people often say things to me like, are you "Okay, are you, are you feeling all right? You look a little tired. Did you have a late night?" So I want to keep going with the bare skin, uh, but maybe add some color back. So what I will be doing first. Uh, starts with a story, of course. A few years ago, a lovely YouTuber named Stephanie Lange, hopefully I'm saying that right, made an awesome video where she used self-tanning products to contour her face and tint her lips and eyebrows. And I thought that was a really neat idea, so I tried it at the time with like an instant tanning product, one that just washes off, and I, I really liked the results. So today I won't be contouring my face, but I will be filling in my eyebrows with some self-tanning mousse. Uh, I'm pretty confident that that will work, but the second thing I'll be doing I'm a little bit less confident about. And that is fake freckles. I love freckles, I think they are absolutely adorable. I love natural freckles, and then I also love it when people paint them on over their makeup. I do have some natural freckles, like, scattered all over me, but I don't have any in the trendy areas. I want to try to get some natural looking freckles on my bare skin today with the self-tanning mousse. There are lots of videos online of people using self-tanning products to draw on fake freckles, and I've watched a few of them, and it seems like people usually get a good natural result, or like no result at all. But I think we have perfect conditions today to make this work. I am extremely pale. And then I also have some good quality dark tanning mousse to use, so hopefully we'll get some good contrast. So enough chatting, let's just get into it. Uh, the materials that I'll be using today, uh, some makeup wipes, I've got some toner and a cotton pad, uh, a little dish, and then I have a small angled brush, and then also a very small eyeliner brush. And some self tanner. So the tan that I will be using today is the Saint Tropez, what is it called? Is the Saint Tropez Express Tan, oh, oh that's totally wrong. Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Advanced One Hour Tan bronzing mousse. It's a lot of words in there. So that's what we'll be using today. Uh, it was uh, about $50 Canadian, so it was, it was a little bit pricey, but there's a, a lot of product in this bottle, and I've used it before, not like we're using it today, but I've used it all over my body before, and it's a really nice natural looking color, not orange at all. So the instructions say you leave it on for one hour for light tan, two hours for medium, and three hours for a dark tan. And then after you wash it off, the tan develops within the next eight hours and then it lasts a few days. So before we start, this is what my eyebrows look like when I fill them in regularly with makeup. For reference, and now I'm gonna take off all that makeup. And 
Now I'm just gonna go over the areas where I'm gonna use the fake tan with a toner because it has alcohol in it and it will get rid of any excess oils. The Saint Tropez recommends um, exfoliating 24 hours beforehand, so I did that, but I did not exfoliate this morning like I usually do. So this is what we're starting with. I think I got like two freckles here to begin with and then some patchy, slightly patchy eyebrows. So I'm just going to put some mousse, looks like that, and I'm going to start with the eyebrows. And you know what? This only lasts a few days so I'm not too worried if it looks terrible. So you can see the the mousse has a little bit of a tint to it, but that's just so that you can see where you're putting it. Uh, it's not really an accurate representation of how it's going to look, so I'm going to go around the edges with a makeup wipe. Just make sure I don't have any crazy spots. And now quickly do the other one. Okay. So the texture is very watery. It's it's almost like painting with watercolors. And it's it's a lot easier to do than uh, last time we did the eyebrows with the hair dye. freckles which I'm a little bit nervous about I don't know I kind of want like a gradient like some lighter than the other so I think after I have it on for about an hour I'll probably go back darken some and then add a few more we'll see if that does anything I probably should have practiced this first <laughs> Let's just do it. We're just doing it. Okay, I'm gonna put one there because I have a red spot there anyway. Oh no! Okay, that's not a freckle shape. That's what you should go to your dermatologist kind of spot. I'm trying to make them not all the same size, some big ones and some little ones. I think I made some too big. <laughs> Yes, I'm starting over. Oh, that's a real one. <laughs> this might take a while. How cute. So, I'm going to set a timer. One for three hours and one for one hour and then I'm gonna add a few more. So it's been about an hour since I did the freckles and how cute are they? Oh gosh, I really hope they turn out, maybe not this dark, but I hope they show up like they are right now because I really like them. Now, I am just going to add a little bit more, darken some and then just add a few small ones. Then leave it on for the remaining amount of time. So I thought it would be really easy to go overboard, but uh, it's all right. We're all right. I think we're okay. Mm. All right. I'll see you in a couple hours. Okay, guys. It's been three hours. It's time to wipe it off. I'll zoom in a little bit, but chances are you're not going to see anything really until tomorrow when it's had time to develop. But.
All right. So you can already, you can see some light freckles and some light tinting on the brows, but I don't know what it's going to look like tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning. It is the next day and here we are. Here are the freckles. I will put up um, some video of the before and after in some natural lighting so you can see it a little bit better. But I would just like, when I'm looking at it here, say the eyebrows turned out pretty damn well. They're not the right color for my hair right now, but regularly I think they would be. It's a very warm brown, so the brows worked really good. Um, the freckles, I think they spread a little bit, like the color bled a little. They seem larger, a little bit larger than they were when I drew them on. They still look really natural though. So next time I'll make them even smaller, but they do, the color is perfect. I kind of wish a couple of them were a little bit darker. You could just do that with uh, makeup, but uh, I like it. I think it adds a little, a little something when you're not wearing any makeup. Um, I'm gonna come back on here in a couple of days and we'll see how it fades. Hello everyone, it is day four of our experiment. So I applied the tan on Sunday. Woke up with the freckles and the brows on Monday. They lasted through Tuesday and Wednesday where I exfoliated and now it is Thursday, day four, and it appears that my freckles are almost gone. Looking up close, there are still a few freckles you can see, but I can't see them lasting through till tomorrow. The brows, on the other hand, haven't really faded much. I'll put up a picture of the first day versus today so we can really compare them. But uh, four days in, they still look like they're filled in with eyeshadow to me. So I will check back in with you in a few days when these start to really fade and we will do final thoughts. Okay, so it's been a full week since my last check-in. We're now on day 11 of this experiment, so I think it's time to wrap things up. <laughs> Uh, I'm currently wearing makeup because it's not a good skin day for me, like completely unrelated. Uh, but here's some footage of what I looked like before I put on makeup this morning so you can see that the results are pretty much gone. My face is almost back to normal. There's just a tiny little bit of color left in some of my eyebrow. So it's time for final thoughts. This was my experience using Saint Tropez Advanced so this was my experience using the Saint Tropez Self Bronzing. I'm just gonna read it right off the bottle, okay? This was my experience using the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Advanced One Hour Tan Bronzing Mousse. Not for its intended purpose, but to make fake freckles and tint my eyebrows. Let's start with the freckles. So I applied the freckles, let them sit for three hours, then I washed them off, went to bed, woke up the next morning with the final result. They were very visible for three days and then started to fade on the fourth day and were completely gone by day seven. So at first I was a little bit disappointed. I kind of wanted a few of them to be darker, but the more I looked at them, the more I loved them and the more they grew on me and now that they're gone, I miss them and I want them back. Um, the color of the freckles was the perfect shade. The only thing that I noticed is they spread out a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's the formula or if it's because I went over and added too much, but next time I do this, I'm going to make the dots extra tiny and I'm also not going to go over them or add more product. All right, now for the brows. I applied the tan on my eyebrows just like I would makeup. Then I left it sit for three hours, washed it off, went to bed, woke up the next morning with the full results. Although the result wasn't as dark as it is when I usually fill in my brows with makeup, it was a huge improvement on what they looked like bare. The tan really stuck into my eyebrow hairs and it lasted a lot longer than it did on my bare skin. 
There was no real fading in the brows until about day four, they started to get a little bit lighter, then continued to fade out over the next week. We are now at day 11 and you can just see a tiny bit of tan left just in the thickest part of my eyebrows. I think the color for the freckles is really nice and would look good on most people, but that same color for the eyebrows is a little bit warm. I think this would look great if you had a warm blonde or warm brown hair or even ginger tones. But if you have very cool toned hair or very dark hair, this color just might not work for you. For me, this was perfect. It worked really well with my colors and personally, I felt a lot more confident going without makeup with the freckles and the tinted brows than I do regularly. I didn't have any skin irritation or negative effects from using this product on my face, but keep in mind everyone's skin is different and also everyone's skincare routines are different, so your results with the same products may be very different from mine. And that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed yourself or if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you're looking for more content, you can subscribe right here. Check out my Instagram, at anorthodol, or you can watch another video by clicking over here.